One thing about Elementor is they like to give us gifts. Every now and then they throw us new gifts and I'm not talking about like features or things added to the plugin. These are gifts that are completely offsite, not even related to the plugin at all. They're external. And this week they just dropped us a new gift and I want to share that with you all just so you're aware of it and you could go ahead and play around with it, try it out and see if this helps you. And that is going to be their Figma wireframe kits. So Elementor just released their Figma wireframe kits and that's what we're going to look at really quickly. So real quick, if you haven't heard about Figma before, or don't know what Figma is, is it is basically the go-to web and UI design tool that most professional designers use. Now, in the industry right now, for professional designers, there are three main tools to go with. You got Figma, you got Adobe XD, and then you got Sketch App. Me personally, I love Sketch. I even got the Sketch tattoo, but I also use Figma, and I might possibly get a Figma tattoo in the near future too. But before I do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the wireframes that Elementor just launched. I'm going to show you how you could download them and use them yourself and see if this helps out. What's up everyone? I'm Jeffrey at Lightbox and if you like learning stuff about Elementor or web design, anything like that, make sure to subscribe, do all that good YouTube stuff. Really appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead and check out Figma with the Elementor wireframe. To get started, for anybody who is new to Figma, hasn't used it yet, well, here is a Figma website right here. It is totally free to use. You could go ahead and download it. Uh, you could use it inside your browser, so it doesn't matter if you are a Mac or PC user. And then you could also use the app. So I'm gonna open my app up over here. I'm gonna go over here to Community. And inside the community, I'm going to type in Elementor. Let's go ahead and search for it. And we're going to see it right here, the wireframe to design by Elementor. Let's go ahead and open it up. And if you do hear chickens in the background, they are going off right now. I live out in a village in Thailand. So there's sometimes I got some natural background noises. It's all good though. All right, so from here, let's go ahead and click on get a copy. And we're gonna see this is Elementor's board right here. We got our cover. And if we click on here to all pages, we can see everything that is included here. So I'm gonna zoom in and scan through it. We got our cover, we got our intro. And this is something I like a lot right here. I'm going to go over that in a minute. That's our global styles. This is basically like a design style guide right here, which is really cool. Uh, we got our components also could be used as part of a design style guide. And then we have our wireframes right here. Then we got an example of a wireframe. Let me zoom in more and how it could be used to be turned into a mock-up design right here. And they have some of their kit designs right here. And then they got a couple other cards right here with some tips and tricks. And for me, what I see here is just the beginning. Like this is just a start. And I really hope Elementor builds up on this because if they do, this could be very helpful in a lot of ways, especially for new designers just starting off learning how to use a design tool like this. Now to use this for yourself, we're going to have to duplicate it because we can't go in and make edits because this is Elementor's main board for them. But there's an easy way to duplicate it and we could do whatever we want. So up here on this bottom arrow, let's click on that, select on duplicate. And now we're going to have our own and this is ours. We could do whatever we want with this. So I'm going to turn this one off. I'm going to close that and I want to stick to ours. All right. So we have all pages, intro, wireframes. We could go through all of it. Now, I really like this right here. This is one of the things that stood out to me because having a really simple and clean uh, design style guide is really helpful. Now I've had other videos on putting these together and using them. In fact, I'm going to put a link right up over here or here. However, YouTube does it. I haven't got that part down yet, but there's a link somewhere up here to take you to another video I did on how to use style guides. Now, every time I do a project before I do it, I always create a style guide. So that way I know what fonts I'm going to use. The font sizes are already determined. Our colors are already determined. And then we could also add in other elements here. So this is a good template for anybody new starting off to use because it's 
really simple and clean. And I love it when things are simple and clean. It's better than making things complex and messy for sure. All right, now let's go over to the wireframes. So I'm gonna quickly show you how you could use this. First, create your own artboard. Just go ahead and click on A, and then we're just gonna click on one of the desktop ones. Now I wanna match the size here. I noticed that Elementors is a bit wider, so I'm gonna move my artboard up here and just stretch it out. That way it's matching the size. It's gonna make things a whole lot easier. Now, all we're doing when it comes to wireframes is we're just laying out the structure. It has nothing to do with the design. So what I could do here is go ahead and hold down Command and C. Let's move that over here and paste that right here. I'm gonna stretch out my artboard as well. Let's go ahead and stretch this all the way down so we can make a full width. Now, let's say right here, I wanna do something like uh, show, uh, an opening. We'll just use this one straight from there. It's Command and C, and let's paste this here. Let's go ahead and add some features. I'm going to take this block, even though it says our team, I could use this as features as well. Let's go ahead and paste that here, and then we could go in and edit the text. Let me zoom in here. And then I could just go ahead and feature title here and do that with all of them. And then if you want, you could just drag and drop it over and put your elements anywhere. And this will allow us to really quickly make up a wireframe. You could put a wireframe like this together in a very quick time. And then you could use that with your clients, with your work. It's a great way to plan and strategize your websites instead of just building them directly inside elements or without putting thought into it because this is a strategy phase here. All right, I know I'm geeking out on wireframes and that's just because to me, wireframes are really important. They're a very important part of my design process. Now, those are the wireframes. And if we go over here, they also gave us this board right here, which shows some of the mockups. And basically what this part is, is just an example. That's how I see this. It's just an example of how you could go from a wireframe to a mockup. And, you know, this is all stuff that are inside Elementor kits. And then they also give us some tips right here as well. Personally, I kind of like how they did these. Like as a designer, I'm looking at it like I'm probably going to take this arrow right here and use it on my own projects. You know, you could take an arrow. Say you want to use an arrow like this. And this is the designer in me. I'm always looking for these kind of things. You know, these little uh, nuggets that could help out my projects. I could use this. I could go down to export. And I could export this as an SVG and I could use it in my own projects. Just something to, you know, show the possibilities. So that's Elementor's little gift to us. And it's pretty cool. I find that the wireframes are kind of helpful. Now, what I'm wishing with them, and I hope, I hope this is just the start. I hope that Elementor adds to this. It would be really awesome if they did. They started adding other elements, like, you know, a bunch of different header elements, different footer elements, and things are all possible to do with just Elementor and Elementor Pro turning it into a full web and UI kit. I think that would be a really big gift that I would be really thankful for. Also, I do like the template for the design style guide. I think that is really helpful. And for anybody new to design that is looking to polish and improve their web design skills, I really suggest taking a template like that and using it on your next projects and getting used to using design style guides. Well, I wanna hear your thoughts. What kind of gifts do you like from Elementor? What would really help you out with your web design process and your businesses as well? What will help you become a better website creator? Drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you. And I'll be back again soon with more Elementor and web design related content. All right, thank you.